Skyrim's Nords take inspiration from, well, you might have guessed it, some aspects of Norse mythology, or at least a more modern fantasy approach to the Norse aesthetic. Today, we're taking a look at a new creation that plays into that theme a bit more, In Truth in Legends, by Schuberglar. Earlier this year, I covered their first paid creation in the program, the Archibus, which added a new set of firearms to the game, along with what I found to be an incredibly well-done dungeon. Their newest creation adds their interpretation of the legendary hammer Mjolnir. In order to claim this powerful artifact, you'll have to traverse a new dungeon and defeat the legendary Storm Herald. The hammer, along with a new shield and the Storm Herald armor set, all come with their own bonuses. Mjolnir having its own set of unique power attacks, the shield Svalin being able to store energy from being struck that can be released in a power bash, and the armor enhancing the power of Mjolnir's new throne attack. Truth and Legends is available now for PC and Xbox systems, and can be purchased for 500 credits, approximately $5 USD. To get started, you'll want to have completed the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller as a part of Skyrim's main story, and it's recommended that you're level 25 or above. The new dungeon and boss are intended as a challenge, to make it feel like you've truly earned the right to wield Mjolnir. The final boss specifically is meant to scale to your level, that way you can't really over-level for it. But still, playing on a level 50 or 60 character might make the dungeon itself a bit easier. But it also means you might run into the new Stormlord enemy type. The new quest added doesn't start until after you enter the dungeon which is located just southwest of Cradle Stone Tower. And before we get started, I would like to mention that I did receive this creation for free from its author, and that I recorded part of this on a build that was still going through QA. That being said, the only bug that I ran into has already been fixed, and I've even played through the dungeon again in full just to make sure that things worked smoothly, which I'm happy to say that they did. Moon Gander Mine Discovered Anybody here? Why do I feel like I am walking into a slight trap of sorts? Maybe not trap, but man oh man, no one's been in here in ages. We're just all alone right now. It's a little quiet, a little ominous. Sky Shard Ore, that's new. Well, now I have something new I want to collect. I am playing on Adept. And admittedly, I'm also on a, a higher level character, and I even set myself up with some better gear just to see how much of a challenge this is going to be. I saw them rising from the dead. I just wanted to uh, slightly loot first. So I've made a more conscientious effort to have good gear. Okay, here we go. Now we get to see the uniqueness of the dungeon. Immediately, the thing that stood out to me was the statue over there. I should watch where I step. This place is starting to rumble a little. Oh! <laughs> I was saying? Oh, I'll watch my step immediately. Me and my fat feet break the bridge. Oh. This is what I get. Well, you know what? Sky Shard Ore. I get all my new Sky Shard Ore. Hmm. So let's not drop the oil. You know? Seems like a bad idea. So we have Snake, Whale, ooh, and Snake up there. So it's gonna be Snake, Snake, Whale. Right. And pull the lever. Well, free enemy. 
Not exactly what I was going for, but, uh... Hopefully that did something. Yeah, I think it lowered this. Yeah, that's definitely what it was. Yeah, 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 I'm on my way. I heard you. You said, hey, please come up here and murder me. My Dovazul's a little rusty, but I'm gonna assume that's what you said. Oh. Oh. What? Don't do that. No. Where did that come from? Hey, that's not cool. Don't do that. No, no balls of lightning, please. Now, I believe there's gonna be a couple puzzles in here as well, which makes me excited because I actually really like puzzles. Not always the best at them, but I like their presence, I like their inclusion, and here's my broken bridge, man. Yeah, I should have seen it coming. I really should have seen that coming. That's gonna be iron. Oh, no, there we go. I was hoping it would be Sky Shard Ore, but instead... Uh, I was just assuming that it was gonna be Iron Ore. Oh, I... I will find a pickaxe. I shall find one. Just give me a second. I didn't realize I didn't have a pickaxe on this character. <laughs> I walked by all those miners earlier and I was like, ah, I'm not gonna need these because obviously I already have one. And I didn't. Well, I'll be back for the ore later. Yeah, already just the design of the dungeon has been nice. Obviously using the original assets, like the original ancient Nord assets, but it looks good. Oh, and here we go, the Draugr Stormlord. I know you're new. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so they don't just die, they... Oh, alright, they become almost like a lich of sorts. Yeah, playing this on Adept and playing it with a higher level character uh, with better gear feels very fair so far. So, <laughs> I'm happy with that right now for sure. See, that's easy to avoid. They have a place near us that uh, <laughs> does something similar to this. Uh, it's essentially like a whole place that's just a series of yeah. uh, challenge rooms, escape rooms, and physical things like this. Granted, uh, their axes aren't metal and sharp, they're big and foam, but they got a, enough weight behind them that they will absolutely knock you off and knock you down. Well, here's my puzzle. Ooh, okay. Rotate the mirrors. Uh oh. Oh, uh, like, don't think that was right. So we just got the first quest. Within Man Gander Mine. I thought it was Moongander. I've stumbled upon a door sealed by an unknown magic protecting the entry to an ancient Nordic catacomb. Cracks deep in its surface glow faintly as if waiting for a specific key or incantation. I hear a faint drumbeat, as though something is beckoning me to dive deeper. Nearby, I discovered a powerful shield held in the jaws of a dragon skull humming with dormant energy. Its enchantments field tied to the door, but the purpose remains unclear. Yeah, upon attaining the shield from the dragon's jaws, the beam of light that was reflecting from the surface is now reflecting from the statue onto the seal. Perhaps the light has something to do with the magic sealing the entrance to the catacombs. Well, in that case, let me get the shield equipped and... Stores the energy of blocked attacks. Power Bash will release the energy as a lightning strike applying curse. Look directly up while performing a bash calls a storm. Storm's grant stat boost and magic blocked has a chance to be reflected back at the caster. 
Okay, there we go. Ooh, all right. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be cool. And I'm just realizing now this right here, it's a little bright. Uh, me turning off quick light doesn't necessarily help. This is the solution right here. Ooh, all right. So let me see if I can figure these correctly. Now, this should be right, and it shouldn't necessarily matter where I kind of start the beam from, but on the left-hand side, the two mirrors are just kind of facing straight ahead. The top right is facing back at the one on the left-hand side, middle right facing directly out, and then the bottom right pointing up at the top right. Now, let's see if that works. I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'm gonna say yes. Whoop. Let's float on down. Oh, I've always loved yeah. the uh, the float animation from the Dragonborn DLC, so any excuse to use it, I'm happy. Also, like I said, big fan of puzzles. That's a well done one. That That's a good one. Well, I've proven my worth enough to get in here. I'm guessing that's only the beginning of the challenge. Oh, and... Alright, there's gonna be a lightning ball. Listen, given that we're getting Mjolnir, it makes sense that we're uh, really focused in on the lightning aspect of this. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I just want to block all of this. Because we have that really kind of nice animated look look here. Alright, there you go. Yeah, because on the shield itself here, let me just show you real quick. On the shield at all times, you do get this kind of swirling vortex effect. I see you back there. I see you. Oh, we got another storm lord. Here, just hit me. I've never wanted Drogo to hit me so much in my life before. Do it again. No, 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 with the sword. With the sword. That works, too. Yeah, I probably should have waited a little longer, because I think it's every five strikes or so, that's when it's stored up. Oh, and I think I got interrupted. I've never let a Draugr hit me so much before. I've, I've never let them do this for extended periods of time. There we go. And I didn't even think about that. Yep, I still gotta fight him now. <laughs> All of that was just so I could kill him the one time, just because I wanted to show off my fancy attack. But I still need to... As it is, I still need to try the one where I look up at the sky. Because uh, that's when I called down the storm. And yeah, I see a little lightning ball. I see a little lightning, buddy. One thing I'm noticing with the shield is there's sometimes a slight delay in raising the shield and getting the kind of ward effect on it. Uh, or sometimes when I lower the shield, I'll still have the, the ward effect up for a split second, yeah. I realize that might also just be like a limitation of Skyrim too, of like, okay, we can only toggle the animation on and off so quickly. Because I feel like I've seen that with just regular wards, too, even. Oh, here we go. Strundal Temple Barrow. I'm waiting to find another bridge that just gives out. It's going to be this one right here. Just watch. No, really? Wow, pretty sturdy. I can even jump on it without issue. All right. I like to be surprised. That's a surprise that I'm happy with. Yeah, need to find a dragon claw. Oh, so I'm gonna have to jump down, and then this is where I'll come back out. Yeah, because I can see the pull switch in there. Is that the claw over there? It looks like it could be. I was about to say, it's like, oh, can I roll one sprint across? Is that cheating? And then I realized literally... The bridge just connects over that way, so. 
Ignore me. Yeah, I'll be curious to see the boss versus this, but right now it's been very fair on, once again, add-up difficulty, higher level character, and so on. So, no, not the claw, just a switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bad switch. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Was there going to be a puzzle in here? Or at least that's tied to something. The snake is very much tied to something. I would imagine. I would think. Okay, on the left-hand side of this chamber, so opposite that... This is open. I'm not sure if that was open before. Okay. Got it. So, snake from that room. Whale and... Eagle. Now, let me try to pull that switch again. Oh, man. No fire that time. Goody, goody. No more scalding burnt flesh for me today. <laughs> really, it's uh, it's all anyone could ever ask for. Auto saving. Okay, if you're gonna auto save, I'm gonna hard save. Because usually that means I'm in trouble. I see the claw, but this is ominous. This is also gonna be another puzzle room, isn't it? The Thalmor, huh? Truth and Legends, Volume 3. So that's gonna be new. Yeah. The Storm Herald's Betrayal by Tolfdir. And Tolfdir wasn't even kind enough to tell us about this man. Turns out he's uh, very well-written, very uh, published and respected. Bjornsson Stormherald, a Nord by birth, Bjornsson was unlike his kin. While most revered strength of arms and the fury of battle, Bjornsson was drawn to the secrets of magic and the mysteries of the world beyond. His mastery over shock magic earned him respect among Ysgmor's closest circle, though many Nord warriors distrusted sorcery. Bjornsson fought alongside Ysgmor as they drove the elves from Skyrim in the Great Return, using his Master of Lightning to devastate their enemies. His skill and loyalty seemed beyond question, and Ysgrimor himself honored Bjornsson as his court mage, tasking him with the defense of their fledgling kingdom. But Bjornsson's ambitions burned brighter than the lightning he commanded. While his peers celebrated the conquest of Mare, Bjornsson sought knowledge far grander than Ysgrimor's legacy. He carved the power of the dragons. In secret, Bjornsson became fascinated with the dragon priests who served the dragons. They were more than just servants, they wielded almost divine-like magic far beyond anything known to man. He longed to learn the ways to master the language of dragons and unlock power of the Thum, the voice. It was said that Bjornsson got his chance to ally with the dragon cults. Oh man, he's a bad guy. We're gonna have to kill him when eventually even the dragons began to revere his mastery of shock magic. He was offered the choice to join the dragon cult by a priest, promising him the knowledge of Thum and the secret of eternal life. The priest spoke of dragons as gods, claiming that one day they would rule over Mundus. Bjornsson, seduced by the promise of the Thum and immortality, listened. Against his better judgment and despite his oaths to Ysgrimor, Bjornsson swore fealty to the dragons and the cult. The mage had betrayed his people. Man. The worst part is that it kind of makes the, um... It, it kind of almost makes Ysgmore's companions sound right to not trust magic. Okay, Moongander Mind and Storm's Rest, which, yeah. Storm's Rest we will have to go to later. <laughs> God, I always hate trying to read these things. Should Estormo send anyone else here and happens upon me, do not touch the claw. If you do, I have some belief the bust here has significance as it's different to the rest throughout the place. I was chasing here by swarms of Draugr. I managed to lock myself in when lifting the claw. 
though now I'm trapped with no clear exit from the chamber. Uh, well, you know what? I don't really listen to instructions, so I'm gonna take the claw. Uh, okay, maybe a bad idea. Am I about to drown in here? Do I have to solve this on a- Oh my god, do I have to solve this on a- on a time? Oh god, I think I do have to solve it on a timer. That's why there's an autosave. Oh god, oh no. Alright, well, this is gonna be a- a wrap. This is absolutely gonna be a wrap. I am not gonna get it this time. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Honestly, one of the reasons I won't be able to get it is, uh, it's hard to see the color. It's harder to see the color, uh, in here. Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna drown. If you came in here with a potion of, uh, <laughs> water breathing, or, you know, a an enchanted piece of water breathing gear, then you would have been smart. Me, not so much. So, uh, I'm gonna die in here. I'm dead. You know what? Before I actually pick up the claw, let me see if I can figure out the puzzle first. Because let's see. So we have red, green, also green. And it's just three of them, right? Yes. Oh, wait a second. No, these aren't color. I mean, they're colored, but it's not the color that I'm looking for. There's symbols in them. Okay, so... Yeah, that's the mage. That's the mage. That's the thief. And that's the warrior. So then... Mage, right? Okay, and... Oh, okay, so... I don't even... I, want, I wonder how they did that. That's really cool. So, depending on which angle you're looking at it from, it's a different symbol. So, thief over there, mage over here, warrior over there. So, in that case... Wait, is this a release switch? Can I just use this to end the puzzle? I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works, but... Oh, or maybe I need to pull that to submit my answer. So let's try that, because... Mage... Warrior over there... Thief over here. Or not. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Submit my answer. Take my answer. No, 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 no. Okay. New thought. Because when I come over here, it's warrior. Maybe this one is supposed to be warrior. Like, maybe because it's reflected. So then warrior and... Thief? And take my answer, please. Okay. Okay, that's what it is. Woo! Well, good news, I didn't drown today. Uh, always a possibility for tomorrow. Always a potential that I'll just drown tomorrow. I don't know, in my bathtub or something, but... Not today, not in-game. Oh, I was not expecting a lift. I was just expecting uh, to pull a handle and walk right through. Getting a little fancy now, aren't we? Yeah, and now I've made it back to where I want it to be. And so did the Draugr. <sighs> Out of my way. I don't have time for you right now. Now let me check the symbols on the claw. Bear, butterfly, owl. Man, you know that old thing where people say, Oh, you know, it's just two turns of each one to get to the right answer? That actually works for this one, too. I forget if it was all the dr Dragon Claw 
puzzles that did that, or just some of them, but it was true here. And more axes. More axes, and now also traps that set off fire. So, man oh man. Maybe drowning was better. Maybe drowning would have been better in a way. I'm gatekeeping terrible ways to die. Oh? Hello? Are you trying to keep me out? Mr. Stormkeeper? Okay, I was wondering if that would still give me the weight of judgment if I stepped on it. Well, I want you to stop doing that. Am I reflecting it back at him? Okay, I think it's damaging him. Yep, it's definitely hurting him. Look at that. See, I can figure things out. Somehow I feel like I'm coming up on something. Somehow I feel like there's going to be something dangerous behind the door. Yep, definitely getting that feeling. Maybe it won't be immediately dangerous because, you know, we just got into the new cell, but... We're making progress for sure. I wonder if I get another puzzle because... I've really enjoyed the first couple puzzles that I've had, and the Sky Shard or is mocking me because I just was too stupid to pick up the pickaxe earlier, because I thought I already had one. Okay, here we go, another puzzle. Or at least I assume so. Whenever I see these statues, I assume puzzle. I get excited, what can I say? I, I want the puzzles. I want the uh, the puzzling encounters. I don't really know why I grab more lockpicks. I'm pretty sure I have 400 something. It's just out of habit. It's force of habit, you know. I'm also wondering if this is maybe the exit. Oh, I think this is the exit. Maybe this wasn't supposed to be open yet, or... Oh, you know what? No, it's a it's a shortcut. Let me go back, because now I can get the pickaxe. Yeah. It's good, because it means I can leave now if I need to, if I want to, if I need a resupply or anything. And come to think of it, I want to say the author did something similar with their previous creation. I believe the author did something similar with the Archibus, where there was an easier exit, there was a more convenient way out. Maybe not halfway through the dungeon, but a little further on. Pickaxe retrieved, and let's get back down. Which, did I come through here? I must have. Okay, yep, this put me back in the beginning. I know where I am. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, I was gonna say, is this gonna be boss room, puzzle room? I'm just gonna close the door behind me. Oh, that's gonna be puzzle room. This is a little bigger. Now, is there going to be a clue like there was in the previous one of these? Oh, okay, yep, here we go. Ooh, alright. That is a little bit more complicated. Well... Kind of, and not really at the same time. Like, I, I essentially just need to... Not really sure how to describe the solution, but I think I understand what it is. So let me try to set it up, and then I can try and show visually uh, the placement for each of these. I haven't tried it yet, but I... I think I might have it. The best way I can describe orienting the outer ring of mirrors is 
not having each mirror pointed at the next one in the sequence, but the following one in the sequence. So, this mirror points to the second one down, that one points to two down, so on and so forth. I don't know if this is right, but I think I've followed this pretty clearly. Yeah, so all of the inner five point to form a star. So this points to that one, that one points to that one. Over to there, and then up to the fifth one in the upper left-hand corner in order to form the star. I don't know if this is right. We're gonna find out. I very well might be wrong. Oh, I'm definitely wrong. No, I, I got the outer one wrong for sure. I think, but... Well, that showed something. I am trying to get a good look. Okay, so that is... the star. So I have the inner one correct. I think I have this right. I think I was just overthinking it. So that's two, and... three, right? I mean, I feel pretty good about it. I, I feel confident. Nope, okay, no, it didn't light. Hold on. Just gonna line this up. Yeah? I think so. Maybe I just had it off. Okay, yep, okay. Got it, got it, got it. I was right. And I didn't drown this time. Do you think there's someone just standing outside the barrow wondering why there were just 87 lights all of a sudden? Like, oh, honey, what is that over there? Ah, who knows? Old Nord Barrows, you know how it goes. And, uh, we did get an autosave. I have a feeling that this is gonna be how I die. So, just, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make a hard save just to be safe. Just for my own peace of mind. Hello, Mr. Storm Herald. Oh, okay. Whoa, oh, hey, don't, don't do that. Don't manhandle me. Put me down. Oh, and he took the shield. I was using that. Oh, I liked that shield. Can I have it back? Please. What if I ask pretty, pretty please? Uh-oh. Oh, let's see how this goes. Let's see if I'm going to need to get real fancy with my shouts. Because if I need to get fancy, if I have to get, like, really intense with the shouts, I can use Dragon Aspect, I can use... Like, just, like, the one-two wombo combo combination. We'll see if it comes to that. We'll see... if I really need to go crazy against him. Ooh, 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 you give me that shield! I told you I was going to take it back. I told you it was mine. Oh, what is he doing? Okay, I think I know where we're going with this. I think I know. Let me get the shield on. Let me get that ready. Oh, 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 we got storm bearers. Oh, wait, I don't know if I need to kill them then. No. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me reflect this back at him like the guy that was, uh, protecting the entrance. Yep, that's exactly what I gotta do. See, that's smart. That was them preparing me for this. That was them getting me ready for this. Although, I like to think that I would have figured it out on my own. 
Storm Herald has regained his strength. Uh oh. Like full? Yes, okay, full. Got it. Are you gonna take the shield from me again, or do I get to keep it this time? Is, it, is this keepsies? I'm gonna say keepsies. As I just deal with your Atronax, that way I don't need to worry about them hurting me. Ooh! But I do have to worry about you hurting me. Oh, did you see that? I reflected his shout back at him. Oh, with Svalin. That makes me happy. That I do like. Oh, 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 is he summoning again? Okay, yep, all right. I'm glad he doesn't take the shield back every time. I'm glad he doesn't just rip it out of my hands every single time. Okay, here we go. I'm wondering if it's timed. Like, I'm wondering if I just have to go as fast as I can so he doesn't get up to full health every time. I guess we're gonna see. I was just sitting, I was waiting. I, I was camping this guy, you know? Oh, quick, let me just reflect that back at you. Yeah, because they don't die, they just go down. You have to move on to the next one. Oh, there's more this time. For the first time, there's five this time. Okay, I didn't need to get all of them. Oh, he's regained his strength, and there's still... Oh, there's still a couple of them up, too. I'm wondering if I want to deal with them. Oh, there's more! Are we just getting more and more of them now? I guess so. Oh, is this going to be it? <gasps> is that it? Does he admit defeat? Oh, he's back to full. Oh, I don't know if he does. Storm Herald? M Mr. Storm? Oh, God. Okay, yep. No. Oh, he's not done with me. No. Not even close. Reflect it back at him. I don't know if that's working. Oh, I don't think it is. No, it did. <gasps> okay, see? I know. I mean, it, <laughs> to me it felt pretty obvious, but... Still, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say that I did good. I'm gonna say that I'm smart. I'm smart enough. Uh oh. Oh, he's not yeah. done. Nope, he's not done. Okay, so same way. Oh god, no, that's a little strong. Oh god, I can't even see during that. I can't see when he does that. But similar to how the Stormlord Draugr, you know, transform into the Lich, yeah, he's doing the same thing. Uh, and he's a little bit more, uh... Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I gotta block that. Alright. Dragon aspect. And just get ready to reflect the spell back at him. Or try to. Yeah, because he just staggers me during that, too. Oh. Which... Hold on. So, in addition to that, I'm going to... I'm gonna use Drain Vitality. I'm gonna try that. Which, he's just moving very fast, so it's hard to make sure that I'm even hitting him with the shout. Oh god, yeah, I'm just being blinded over here. And I'm being staggered, too. Oh god, he's low. Oh, he's so low. Oh, you get back here, Mr. Harold. You get back here, Mr. Storm. Yes! Oh, we got him. We did it. No, 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 don't you leave just yet. I will search your ashes in a moment. But first... Ooh, I love the effect that we're getting on that. But first... The hammer is mine. Word of power learned. Storm Mjolnir Recall. Bring Mjolnir Recall. And Mjolnir, Mjolnir Recall, there you go. Completed Proving Worth. Oh, he had a lot 
more than I expected on him. He was packing. He had everything. And I'm just gonna rip out his heart while I'm at it, too. I could, I won't, but... I just, I want him to know, and I want you to know, that I could. Storm Herald Armor, increase your shock resistance by 40%, taking damage has a small chance to summon a cursed lightning strike at the attacker, a cursing lightning strike at the attacker. Chance to summon lightning strike is increased by 1% for each armor piece equipped. Storm Herald Boots, increase your carry weight by 35 points, taking damage has a small chance to summon a... Cursing Lightning Strike at the attacker. Chance to summon Lightning Strike is increased by 1% for each armor piece equipped. The Cloak. Block 30% more with your shield. Uh, Cursing Lightning Strike, obviously. So you get up to 5% with all 5 equipped then. Storm Herald Gauntlets. Your hammer throw can ricochet up to 4 times between nearby targets at the cost of Magicka. Also increases your Magicka by 40 points. Taking damage has a small chance to summon the Cursing Lightning Strike. And the Helmet, which I do want to say that they made uh, two sets of the Armor 2 versions of the Armor. One for male characters, one for female characters. Prices are 25% better. Taking damage has a small chance to summon, you guessed it, that Lightning Strike. Well, why would I ever wear any other armor, frankly? Why would I ever use anything else? I'm also just going to take off the backpack. That way I can actually see, you know, my armor, my fit, and all that. While I still have my dragon aspect just glowing. Just, <laughs> man, oh man, am I glowing right now. And there you go, Mjolnir. Which I do really like that you can see... You know, some of the ore kind of peeking through. Almost as though it is damaged that it is worn. Left, right power attacks cast waves of lightning for 20 damage. Forward power attack to dash a short distance for 40 damage. Backward power attack to throw Mjolnir to curse targets. Standing power attack to enter storm trance. Light attacks have a small chance to summon lightning at cursed targets while outside. And, you know, let's, uh... We'll try that out. Okay, yep, there we go. I get my little surge forward. Ooh, alright. I am on fire. There we go, so there's my storm trance ability. Which obviously uses the kind of like same general animation type as, um, well I was gonna say the Vampire Lord, but I guess you could also say it's similar to the, um, the Dragon Priests. Ooh, and even when I put my weapons away, yeah, it still keeps me in that trance and now I get, you know, Mjolnir just... Rotating around me. I think Storm Trance only lasts for so long, though. Like, I think it's on a timer. So I think when those effects go away, yeah, power's waning, so it is... It's timed. I don't believe I can exit it, but I think it just, you know, it runs out. And you can see that it's, you know, draining my stamina as well, because it's at that cost. You're exhausted and leaving Storm Trance. Yes. So then, yeah, it'll just have to recharge. Makes sense. Now let me try to throw it. Which, there's no targets in here, so I'm wondering how that's gonna go. Okay, so just kind of, like, throw it forward in this case, which we will go ahead. I will show how everything looks, you know being used against enemies as well. Did you hear oh, something? and... Oh, we're not out of here yet. We're not free just yet. Well, this is perfect, because I wanted more excuses to, uh, to use... Mjolnir. Okay, yep, 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 yep. And here we go. Here's my storm trance, which I didn't even mean to enter. 
Yeah, I didn't mean to enter uh, Storm Trance as it were. I didn't intend to do that. That was by accident. I feel like that's something I'm going to just accidentally do every now and again. I will say I am already very much aware that I'm going to accidentally activate Storm Trance a ton. Uh, just because I often use standing power attacks. Like, that's just my usual way of doing things, because I'm very simple-minded, as it were. But, let's see if we have another note on any of you. Okay, yep, and he has the, the Thalmor map, which that's where we want to go next. We need to go to Storm's Rest. And we have uh, part one of Truth and Legends, so we could use that to learn even more. Yep, there we go. Part one, the hammer. Once again, Tolftir is holding out on us. Bjornsson Stormherald toiled for seven days and seven nights at the foot of the Strundal Temple. He used chunks of a sky shard and the soul of a slain dragon, tempered them with dragon blood, and bound it with ancient dragon runes of storm and thunder. The forge blazed with unnatural heat, and each strike against the sky shard chunks caused lightning to crackle across the sky during its forging. In a final act of divine blessing, Kine herself sent a bolt of lightning down from the heavens, striking the hammer on the forge. The sky erupted with a deafening roar as the storm sealed its power into the weapon the lightning sinking into the very core of the hammer. When Bjornsson held it aloft, the clouds above churned, and lightning crackled between them, as though the skies themselves bowed to the weapon's will. Thus, Mjolnir was created, or so the legends say. However, given the dragon ruins curved into the face of the hammer, it does give some credence to the tale and lend a clue that perhaps the hammer and its shield may trace their origins to the dragon cult of the Merethic era, rather than a divine creation, and there's little evidence to suggest that Strundal Temple exists unless it's been lost and forgotten to time, as there is scarcely little mention of it within Nordic scripture. To be fair, there's a lot of things that are just kind of left out of Nordic scripture. So this is where the Thalmor map was pointing. It's really close to the Loverstone. You just gotta make a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a detour in order to reach it. But I like this because it does have, you know, like a new model, a new texture for this. To gain ethereal storm form, offer a dragon soul. I wonder if I can do any of them or if I have to go in order. Let me see. Okay, no, you don't need to go in order, so you can just do them, you know, kind of in whatever order you want. And I should have enough Dragon Souls anyway. Ethereal Storm Form. While in Storm Trance, gain access to Ethereal Storm Form to become invulnerable but unable to attack. However, for a short duration, you recover Magicka and Stamina. And the more Stamina you have, the longer your Storm Trance lasts. Okay. Ethereal Reflexes. While in Storm Trance, gain access to Ethereal Reflexes to freeze time for 8 seconds. I will... I'll do that one. Oh, uh, hold on. Sorry, it's just... Being a little wonky on the selection. Ethereal Corpse Curse. Chase of summon a ball of lightning up to a maximum from the corpse of cursed targets that seeks out anyone nearby for five seconds before exploding. Up to a maximum of what though? Ethereal Atronach. Yes, I want that. Summons an Ethereal Atronach for 30 seconds that's capable of cursing enemies. There's a lot of emphasis on... Uh, the curses, if you will. The same way that our armor has the higher chance to, you know, curse targets um, when we're wearing more pieces of the armor. 
while in Storm Trance, gain access to Ethereal Grip. Telekinetically pull targets or objects to yourself and target grabbed with your telekinesis have a chance to be cursed. So essentially, we're just going to be as powerful as Bjorn was. Maybe not as powerful, but, you know, similar. Upgrades Hammer Throw Ability call a lightning strike on its impact location that has an area of effect curse. Yes. Storm Attunement. When wielding Svalin or Mjolnir, gain improved magic regeneration and bonus damage to all shock spells. Yes. Killing cursed targets restores a small portion of magic and health. Yes. Increase the number of allowed balls of lightning summons up to a maximum of two. Also, yes. Halves the cooldown of Storm Trance. Oh, alright. In case it wasn't fast enough already. It's already pretty fast. Uh, if I'm being completely honest. And finally, while in Storm Trance, targets hit by Ethereal Lightning and Ethereal Ball of Lightning spells have a chance to curse affected targets. Yes. Alright. Oh, and here we go. And uh, do not ignore the uh, the drug right here, because he has Ring of the Storm Herald. The ring provides a deeper connection with the forces of Nern. When throwing Mjolnir directly into the sky, allows you to weave a powerful storm for 20 seconds to direct lightning strikes on your foe. Charge ability by blocking hits with Svalin, and can be only used once per day. I'm going to equip that. And then we have the bow Skewner. If enchantment is applied to a bow or crossbow, target takes 10 points of shock damage and half as much magic damage. Calls down a lightning strike on target hit by arrow slash bow, dealing an additional 15 points of damage and cursing the target. I mean, yeah, why not? I'm already here, might as well take it. Hey, you, go. Get out of here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, where did his body even go? Did I just send him flying? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. Uh, probably not what Kine had in mind when she infused Mjolnir with her strength. For the review section of this video, I am including much more of the gameplay of the combat, making use of Mjolnir, Svanir, the armor set, and so on. And this is after going through and improving all the gear at crafting stations. I think this was a really fun way of taking a legendary weapon of Norse mythology and finding a way to include it in Skyrim. And for anyone who's concerned about its inclusion, just keep in mind that mods and creations are not considered canon, even when they have the lore-friendly tag on the creations menu. I really like that we had new lore books to introduce Mjolnir's creation, its creator as one of Ysgrimor's 500 companions, and his search for greater magical knowledge. The dungeon itself was really well designed, making good use of existing assets while also adding its own, such as the statues, mirrors, and more. I've mentioned it many times now, but I love well-done puzzles, and that was probably my favorite part of this entire creation. Maybe that sounds weird, because you'd think my favorite part should be the weapons, the armor, you know, the rewards. But I guess I'm very much a uh, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey kind of guy in this sense. Obviously, you're going into the creation knowing that it's about Mjolnir and the other gear, but you don't go in knowing what to expect from the dungeon itself. And it's that surprise of having these new puzzles and mechanics that really get me excited. Ultimately, it makes you feel like you really have to put in the work to claim Mjolnir. You're showing that you've proven that you're worthy, both through trials of skill and trial by combat. I found the puzzles to be fairly intuitive, even if it took me a couple minutes and a couple attempts to figure out the constellation puzzle. 
That being said, Schuberglar did the right thing of having an autosave right before entering that puzzle chamber. Given that not getting the puzzle in time can kill you if you aren't an Argonian or you don't have underwater breathing potions or gear. The same goes for giving us that autosave right before the boss fight, as without it, you might need to redo that final puzzle with the mirrors had you not saved on your own before completing it. The boss fight itself made for a really nice mix, as it involves both combat and mechanics. Having those breaks in the combat helped to keep the fight feel fresh, making it more interesting than just swinging your sword at an enemy for 5 minutes until they're dead. I think the Storm Herald armor set, Mjolnir, and Svanir are all incredibly well done design-wise. The models and textures look great, with Mjolnir having this really nice worn look to it where you can see bits of the sky shard ore, and you have those little cracks of lightning around the hammer's head. Svanir with this really nice swirling animation helps to give it this feeling of having some power contained within it, which makes for a really great visual flair. The one thing is that I maybe would have liked for the bow, Skirnir, to have a unique texture, but while still using the model for the ancient Nord bow. That being said, I also get that the bow isn't part of the dungeon itself, and rather an additional reward that we get later on. So the priority wasn't making it stand out as much as the rest of the gear. What I like is that at the end, Mjolnir isn't simply a new weapon as, frankly, we have no shortage of weapon mods or weapon creations. But rather, it adds some new gameplay while wielding it. Having the Storm Herald armor set play into Mjolnir's power is another nice touch. Mjolnir having multiple special attacks across its heavy attack variations, with the most iconic being the hammer throw, but also being able to transform into the Storm Herald stance. And while I enjoy the stance, one thing I personally would have preferred is if it were activated as a power. The same way that Vampire Lord or Werewolf form are, as I accidentally activate it more often than I mean to as it's triggered by a standing power attack. I do, however, really like that the stance's duration is tied to your stamina, so you can get a good on-screen indicator of how much longer it might last. Now, the question you've probably been asking is, do I think this is worth the price? And I can only speak for myself, but at $5 USD, I think between the dungeon, its puzzles, the armor and weapons, yes, I think it's fair. Especially if we compare it to some of the other offers on Creations, Price-wise, in some ways, this reminds me of the old Oblivion plugins, which were often around $3 to $5 for a dungeon with a unique reward at the end, with Truth and Legends almost feeling like a better version of those. As for free mods that aim to give you something similar, there's really no shortage of dungeon mods or weapon mods out there, so I'm really limiting this to just a couple recommendations. The very first that comes to mind is an older mod, Conan Hyborian Age, which I think is an especially fitting recommendation thematically, if nothing else. With a new quest, dungeon, creatures, weapons, armor, and traps, it provides a somewhat similar experience, but based upon the Conan the Barbarian movie. The other free mod I would suggest is the Grand Paladin, which aims to give you a new dungeon, and a very challenging set of bosses. This mod is meant much more so for the end game players out there, who are focused on creating more coherent and powerful player builds. So if you're looking for a challenge, some new mechanics, and some really hard bosses, the Grand Paladin might just be the very mod that you've been looking for. But that's gonna be all for today. As always, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, check out the Patreon or the YouTube memberships, both of which get access to the Discord server. YouTube members also get access to the channel emotes, which can be used in the comments below. And make sure to check out the streams at twitch.tv slash zero period productions. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.